Still to come on ATP World Tour Uncovered, keeping fit for the fight, we focus on just how swinging hips can make all the difference. And the Emirates ATP race to London is hotting up. We look ahead to the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in November. In our latest form and fitness segment, Justin Gimmelstob takes a close look at one area of the body essential to a tennis player's game. The hip has to be strong. The physical demands on the ATP World Tour have never been higher. As a result, we've seen an increase in hip injuries. I'm here with Clay Snipeman, one of the best physical therapists on the ATP World Tour, who travels and works with the players week in and week out, and he's gonna show us some exercises that both strengthen and secure this very important area. Why are we seeing more injuries to the hips? The guys are now bigger, faster, and stronger. It causes the increase in trauma to the hip itself. So I'm, we're gonna go over some exercises right now. This is a TheraBand. Go ahead and put this around your ankles. The first exercise is called a monster walk. Currently the TheraBand is around your ankles. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Don't put the knees in front of the toes and you're gonna walk backwards. Take small steps. This is gonna load up the gluteus medius and maximus in the hip joint itself. So you wanna keep the knees, Shoulder width, perfect, just like that. And the toes are gonna to be going, pointing straight forward. Perfect. Very good. I think the hips are probably the most important part, you know, especially the two-handers, the guys that use that outside left leg. They really use their hips to get the ball through since they don't have as much shoulder rotation by not being close. Hips are vitally important in our sport. Um, rotation and uncoiling is it's one of the most important things in stroke production, backhand, forehand, and even in your serve, once you've gone up and you've got to rotate those hips in order to get maximum torque out of your serve. So it's nice if you can be loose and strong. I mean, perfect examples of that are guys like Novak Djokovic, Grigor Dimitrov, even uh, Rafael Nadal, so strong in his hips. The second exercise is called the clamshell. You're gonna put the TheraBand above the knee. Feet are gonna be in line with the hip. Lift the knee up in the air, as high as you can go without rotating the hips or the pelvis. So right about there. Correct, and come back down, and come back up. Slow both up and down. Correct. And you could use this exercise to build strength, but also as a warm up before you practice or play a match? That's correct. This will isolate a couple muscles within the hip itself. It's an essential pre-match routine, but looking after the hips means completing a number of different exercises. The third exercise is called the 90 degree lunge. Go ahead and put your right foot straight ahead. Left foot is gonna angle at a 90 degree and rotate your pelvis towards me. So rotate around, right hand is gonna be focusing on your shin, pop back off and restart the position. So you're really focusing on exploding off of that left leg? That's correct. Don't let this knee roll in. As you progress, you can increase weight into that hand, a ball or weight. So that's the next level, that would be more of the strengthening. That'll be more strengthening and more advanced level. Where you'll start to feel this is in the left hip if you're doing it correctly. You should never feel it in the low back because that means you're rotating your spine. So three exercises that both strengthen and secure that hip area that make you be a more dynamic athlete and hopefully also fight off injuries. They're all supreme athletes, but those at the top understand the value of hip health. For me, just looking after my body is the number one most important thing that, that I can do. I do a lot of lower body work. Certainly I do some, some hip stuff as well. So uh, for me, staying in the gym is, is extremely important. And you know, it is tough because as a tennis player, you're moving laterally side to side on, on a hard court. It, it, it can beat you up. but. Um, Things can be prevented if you, uh, if you do stuff the right way off the court. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, making it in Metz. We'll have the best of the action from the Moselle Open in France. And the great entertainer, we catch up with the Frenchman full of flair. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and chat with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.